For all the latest Pacific Rim Uprising news and updates, visit hybridnetworkyt.com. What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Pacific Rim video and another Jaeger origin. And this time, by popular demand, we'll be delving into the background of another all-American mech, Romeo Blue. Romeo is another Jaeger that we saw in the film more than a few times in a cameo role, in the beginning of the movie in a parade, and then just a few short shots later in the Jaeger junkyard at Oblivion Bay. Obviously, a Jaeger being paraded through the streets is something we didn't and wouldn't see by the movie's present day of 2024, 10 years into a seemingly unwinnable war against the kaiju. But the story behind Romeo Blue and why that parade even happened is incredible in and of itself. Piloted by twin brothers Bruce and Tevin Gage, Romeo was one of the original Mark I Jaegers, constructed in late 2015 shortly after Tacit Ronin and, of course, the prototype Brawler Yukon. As Yukon was just a prototype and never was actually assigned a home country, technically Romeo is the original American Jaeger, the first one actually assigned to and funded by the USA primarily. This is actually a pretty huge matter for debate, as Yukon was constructed and run out of Anchorage, Alaska, but was funded solely by the UN and member nations of the PPDC, and not one specific country. So it was kind of a free agent in a way, but maybe that's another video for another time. Despite being the third Jaeger built, Romeo was actually the second Jaeger ever dropped into combat against a kaiju, as it grappled with and defeated the massive beast known as Hardship, not to be confused with the similar looking mutivore that attacked Sydney almost 10 years later. After after Blue's victory against the monster and with the Jaeger program 2 for 2, the mech was celebrated heavily back home in the States, paraded through the streets, and even used as the face for some merchandising campaigns. Romeo would continue in active duty until sometime after 2020, when it was destroyed attempting to protect Seattle from a kaiju that was never specified. On to some technical specs, Romeo was extremely heavy, actually one of the slowest Jaegers ever built, but it carried a unique arsenal that consisted primarily of long-range weapons, including two chest-mounted Gatling cannons. In terms of design, it also seems like a step forward from Brawler Yukon towards the more distinctly humanoid looks that we see in mechs of later marks, like Gypsy Danger or Striker Eureka, save maybe for the massive fin sprouting from the middle of its chest that was designed to protect the pilots in the Conpod. That's about it, though, as far as the story of Romeo Blue goes. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and which Jaeger you'd like to see explored next, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.